go to your Google Chrome or any web browser you're using. In the search bar, you're just going to search for Meta AI. And from this option, the first link that you see here, that's what you are going to tap on. When that is being selected, it's going to take you to an interface layer like this, where you will see Meta AI discover more possibilities, learn and create with your own intelligent assistant. Then what we are going to do here, you can, we are going to tap on try Meta AI. When you select that option, it's going to load up. After loading up, these are the, um, you can use this in place of ChatGPT or any um, AI assistant website that you have available. You can ask um, the Meta AI anything. So let me tell, let me ask him. Let's just practice with this. What is the trending news in crypto? So when you try to ask the AI something like this, they will give you this option. You have two options here. Option one, they say continue without login. Then option two is continue with Facebook. Since it is with uh, Meta, since, since it is from Meta, you can continue using your Facebook. Well, let's just let me use this option first. Continue without login. So let me just click, click on that. They say confirm your age your age to finish so from this option i'm just going to choose any of this age here so i think i should be how many years old i don't know so let me just make use of anyone here so 2000 so i'll tap on the finish button and you can see has been i have been signed in so the um the meta ai is writing my answer for me so you can see it has answered me it said here are some of the latest news in crypto so these are the things that you can use it for you can ask anything in place of chat gpt then the next thing you can use this ai for is to use it to create images which i am going to show you now to create your image simply tap on this hamburger menu this is the menu so from this option you are going to see imagine okay so you just tap on the imagine option and it will come here so they are saying imagine something new so you can see these are different ai images created by um different users okay different ai images so let's just describe an image and let's see what um this website is going to give us so, so let's just give it this simple prompt and let's see what image that we have so when you're done typing your in your prompt, you simply tap on the send button. So here they say please log in to generate images. So it it seems they really want us to log in using our Facebook. So that is what you are going to do. So I'm going to tap on the login with Facebook and let me see the option that we are going to get. So here they are saying continue to Meta. So I'm going to continue to Meta. And you can see I've been signed in. So let's just wait for our image to be created. It is. You can see it's generated a total of four images. So let me just open and take a preview of this image. So just open one of them and we'll take a preview of the image that has been generated. And let's see the quality of this image. So I think um, the Meta AI is actually good. It's something compared to... Um, the normal microsoft being image creator that we have so if you want to download this you have it and a download button at the upside here so you can see we have a download button there so you can download this now if you want to animate this this is what you will do you can decide to edit it or you can decide to animate it if you want to animate it simply tap on the animate option and it's going to load up like this why your image will be animated let's just wait and take a look at the animated option that we have here so i think um this animation is not that cool so you can um, play around and see what you get so that is how to generate these AI images using the Meta AI. Thank you for watching. If you like to learn another thing, let me know in the comment section of this video. I will create a video on that for you. Simply drop a comment and make sure you like this video. It's